Uh, hi, I'm Jim Dolan. I'm a surgeon at OHSU. Uh, my specialty is within general surgery is an area called laparoscopic surgery. And that's where we tend to do very large operations through a very small incision in any part of your body, more often your abdominal cavity. As a consequence of this, I've developed a profession in working with endoscopes and laparoscopes. And these allow me to do my job in a uh, very precise um, way that allows all my patients to recover with very minimal pain and very short healing time and consequently they're back at work and at play very quickly. So endoscopes uh, or laparoscopes, uh, endo means inside and scope means to look essentially. Uh, there's three components to either a endoscope or a laparoscope. Um, the first component is a lens system by which you can actually look inside a closed space. Um, the second component is a light source because you have to shine light into that space. The light has to be reflected off the surface and they're reflected back into a collecting device, which is usually the lenses, and then it has to be transmitted to the third component of the scope system, which is either your eye or a camera that's put in that thing and then consequently the image is processed and transferred onto a screen. There's a number of different procedures we can perform laparoscopically. Uh, essentially anything that allows us to look inside the abdomen uh, gives us a, a sort of a gateway into the abdomen laparoscopically. While we're in there we can remove any one of your organs, believe it or not, depending on the size of incision we use. Uh, the more common operation of course is removal of the gallbladder, it's called a cholecystectomy. And it wouldn't be surprised if you ask your parents or your aunts or your uncles or anybody else. So it won't be surprised, but at least somebody in your family will have had their gallbladder removed. Nowadays, we do it through using very small incisions. It's that's called a laparoscopic cholecystectomy. Okay? Uh, I use a technique as well called single incision laparoscopic surgery, where it's all done through your belly button through a very small incision, use a very specialized device. But again, it's all done laparoscopically. Now, in addition to your gallbladder, we can remove your appendix. We can remove all a part of your colon. Uh, we can remove all a part of your stomach. We can remove your spleen. We can remove your adrenals. We can remove your kidneys. It's all a matter of just how big the incision is to remove those particular things. It's evolved a lot oh, since it was first uh, put together. But essentially, the scopes that we use are all um, rigid scopes. If I'm going to do a laparoscopic exam, which is a look inside your abdominal cavity, uh, the system is called a Hopkins rod system because it's a system of rod lenses. The light generation is by a Xeon light, which is a very high intensity light. It's transmitted from the light all the way into the scope. There's fiber optic bundles that will send the light down into the body. Uh, the light will then reflect off whatever we're looking at, will be collected by the lens system, reflect back up through the scope, and into the collecting system, which in our case is a very high definition camera. It's processed and then transferred to a screen. So we're able to actually look at what we're doing in very high resolution, uh, in very high magnification, in real time, and consequently we're able to do our operation.